Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bit My Tongue. This is your host, Nylaia. The bit stays at that because I'm going to get copyrighted if I do any more. Anyways, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bit My Tongue. Um, today's episode is... kind of a throwback a little bit um initially what I had planned for this episode was I've been I've been reading a lot this summer I've been like I I don't know what it is but I've really been in like my literature arc like I've been in my let me pick up a book and read it I'm not even kidding I this is in the car right now Sylvia Plath is in the car right now like I've been in my book phase and sorry there's a siren I'm just waiting for it I don't know what it is I've just randomly been into reading I think it has to do with the fact that I stare at my phone for way too long because it is my job but and in general I stare at my phone way too fucking much even when I'm not doing my job like I am just on my phone too much so I was like I need to not look at a led screen i need to not look at a screen like i need a hobby that does not include looking at a screen because i was in a really like i had a really big movie kick this summer where i felt like i was watching every single movie like anytime someone would like recommend me a movie i would like write it down in my notes app and i would watch it immediately and so i was like watching all of these movies and i had like a huge like film movie phase for like a good month or two um and then i was like dude like when i'm not working i'm watching movies and like i think my vision is slowly like deteriorating i think it's just getting fucking bad like my head would hurt like i would wake up stare at my phone and then have a raging headache for the rest of the day until I like literally popped like an Excetrian extreme strength like I've I've been on it too much lately I've been on my computer too much lately so I started reading and it honestly has been such a blast you guys I genuinely it's just such a good hobby like I remember when someone would tell me they were reading I was like girl what like you're reading i was like be fucking for real that's what i used to think like i'm not even joking and then in the back of my head i was also i was also kind of like wait so you just like read on your free time like you just like enjoy picking up a book and reading like that's so productive it's like you're doing something that you enjoy but it's also so productive like reading what the fuck and i didn't get it until i stumbled across a tiktok that was talking about the bell jar but anyways so i stumbled across a tiktok that was talking about the bell jar and i was like dude i gotta read this book like this is crazy i don't know i was just kind of like i i'm in the mood to like read a good book like what i feel like i i have yet to find a good book like i the girls love reading there's obviously a hype like they there's obviously a reason why they enjoy it let me find out like let me let me just find the book that gets me into it you know what i'm saying because i was like obviously there has to be like a good book out there i just haven't found like one that like makes me happy (laughs) like every book that i feel like i've every book that i feel like i've read up until this point has been just like i think i started reading the godfather and instantly i could not finish the godfather i was really trying to read it i remember in a youtube video i was talking about the fact that i was reading it i could not finish that fucking book it was just like too much and like i i just was not i i don't know it was just like i just couldn't get myself into it so i didn't finish that book and then the other book that i was reading was actually twilight and that shit that fucking that fucking brick of a book like that is an enormous fucking book i was like bro i'm not first of all this is hella discouraging because i'm just like bro i i will be reading for three hours and it's like i'm not even making a dent in that fucking like bible thesaurus so anyways whatever i was reading twilight and i was like i couldn't get into it i couldn't get into it i can't read wattpad 
types of books i don't enjoy them i know i'm really sorry i know that that's an unpopular opinion because i know that the wattpad girls are fans and they're die hard fans i get it like i i get the appeal but it just doesn't entertain me like it cannot it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't hold my attention for very long so i couldn't read twilight i couldn't read the godfather i got the bell jar by sylvia plath and i will be saying sylvia plath every time i mention the name of the book because she deserves to be in the entire title of the name of the book because she's that girl anyways um i'm really enjoying sylvia plath's writing oh girls oh girls when they discover sylvia plath what are you gonna do about it you can't do it y'all this is my discovering sylvia plath phase i feel like the girls who read i wouldn't consider myself a girl who reads just yet like i just started reading but i feel like the girls who read have had a sylvia plath phase and let me tell you i'm in that phase so over the last like two weeks i have read three books already which is kind of crazy honestly because like the fact that i was like struggling to get through one book and now i've like read three whole books i'm kind of proud of myself i'm not gonna lie I feel like this is definitely my hyper fixation recently. Just reading has been so fun. So I wanted to do an episode where I just talked about the books that I've been reading. And I wanted to make a whole episode talking about these books. But, and that was my plan. I was going to do that. That was this episode. That was That was what this episode was supposed to be. But it's not. Like... Last night, the craziest shit happened to me that I literally have to do a story time on my podcast and talk about the shit that happened to me last night because I can't believe it. Like, I woke up and I was like, damn, that happened. And I was like, something this, like, crazy hasn't happened to me in so long. Like, something like this just, like, what the fuck hasn't happened to me in so long. And last night happened and I was like, I need to tell the podcast this. (sighs) Girls don't need therapy. Girls need a Sylvia Plath book and to have a podcast. That's what it is. Because... Who needs a therapist when I could literally just talk to the void? That's actually not the void because they're my friends. (laughs) Y'all, I think that I'm in a parasocial relationship with you guys. Like, I don't think that you guys are in a parasocial relationship with me. I think I'm in a parasocial relationship with y'all. Like, I'm like, they're my friends. And then everyone's like, you realize that, like, they don't, like, actually know you. And I'm like, but they're my friends. Anyways. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God, dude. How do I even start? Okay. First of all, everyone, lower your expectations a little bit. Because although this is a little ridiculous, like, I didn't meet Michelle Obama last night. I pro- Like, it's, it's not that crazy. <laughs> but it is kind of crazy. Okay. Let me preface this, first of all, by saying that I am a 21 year old girl I live completely by myself I do not have any roommates and all of my family lives in Texas all of my family I live by myself literally in LA in my apartment no roommates nada so that in general is just like that that in general like that in general is scary being a young woman and living by yourself in a big city is frightening as it is but more more recently i feel like i've been more on edge about the fact that i live by myself um which also like it's the way that like me saying i'm a 21 year old girl and like living by myself is scary like 
it seems like, oh, she's a young woman. Like, she could take care of herself. I still feel like I'm literally 15 years old. And I feel like I literally just left my childhood home. And now I'm living alone in a big-ass city across the country. Like, that in itself, just, like, I feel the need to explain why I get so scared at night. Because for the longest time, I feel like I've had a phobia and I'm using the word phobia because fear, fear does not do it justice. I am genuinely so afraid of living by myself and of like something happening, of someone breaking into my house, of like someone robbing me, of someone like coming in and trying to hurt me. I am so terribly like afraid of that happening that it's like one of my biggest fears. Like it, it got to the point that like I would call my mom every single night and have her sleep on the phone with me just in case like just in case if someone were to break in and I were to like start freaking out and screaming my mom could hear me and call the cops or like do something like she could like be able to like uh, like be able to like ha- like hear me I don't know ha- account for my if I were to die like I don't know my mom which is, like, I, I remember for the longest time just being, like, dude, that's so ridiculous that I go to sleep with my mommy on the phone because it's, like, she lives in Texas. What is she going to do if someone comes in to kill me? Like, what is she going to do in Texas? But it's not about what is she going to do. It's about, hey, mom, if someone kills me in my sleep or breaks in and I start screaming, you can hear me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like she's going to run over and save me, but at least she'll know and be able to alert someone and try to help me whatever this was before I got an alarm system right so I was sleeping on the phone with my mom every single night it was just like a regular thing for the longest time like I had contemplated getting an alarm system but I just thought like off the bat I I just was like maybe that's just extra like I don't know if I should get a whole alarm system I live in like a building where like my neighbors are right next to me so like having an alarm system like I I don't want to like I was I was embarrassed because I didn't want my neighbors to be to be like oh my god this bitch you know what I'm saying like I I was just like maybe I shouldn't do that and also like they're so expensive and like maybe I just like this is like a phobia and a fear that I just got to deal with and like just obviously take precautions but like to the point where I'm like getting cameras installed in my apartment maybe that's like taking it a little too far whatever anyways I wasn't going to do it for the longest time, but I think that, like, my fear kind of just kept growing, and, like, it, it, I was genuinely, like, restless at night, and I remember one time my mom, like, coming in to visit me and being, like, like, being alone in the house and her just being, like, yeah, like, like, it kind of is just, like, a little scary at night, like, just, like, sleeping here, like, at night, like, I understand your headspace I understand why you feel the way that you feel and so my mom and I talked about it and um she was like fuck it let's just get an alarm system like we can we can get the alarm system you'll be able to like sleep comfortably like you'll be safe at least we'll know what's going on like if you go out of town there will be cameras you can keep track of like if anyone goes into the house out of the house if like packages arrive like it's just been like it overall getting an alarm system would just convenience me so much more and also the fact that like i'm on the internet hold on there's a fucking bug in my car get out get out get out of my fucking car bitch first i think like my biggest thing was that i just didn't want my neighbors to like see that i had like a whole like alarm system in our like old ass apartment complex like, this new, like, alarm system. I don't know. I was just shy. And I knew, like, I have one of my neighbors is, like, this really, um, she's, like, an older lady. And she is, like, an L.A., like, native, like, grew up here, born and raised. Like, she has seen some shit. And I was embarrassed to get an alarm system because I was, like, my neighbor is going to clown me. Like, this woman is going to literally clown me, you guys. Like, that's so embarrassing. Like, oh, my God. The, the little fucking baby and her fucking cameras. I'm scared. That's not my fucking fault. Like, Jesus Christ. Anyways, um, so yeah, so whatever. I ended up caving and I got the fucking alarm system. No fucks. I don't care. 
y'all can giggle but at the end of the day i'm gonna be safe so i got the alarm system everything's been chill everything's been vibes i got it a couple months ago um and since i got it i've just been so at peace like my my brain feels good i can sleep at night like i i i've just been like i've had peace of mind like i've been chill and i've been like happy and i've felt safe and everything was good until my neighbor recently starts telling me yeah this side of town like is shit now like this street is no longer safe like i remember this place like you know our side of town used to be safe but definitely not anymore and yeah like the other night i slept with like a knife next to me because i just was like my gut was telling me to sleep with a knife next to me because like it's just getting real sketchy nowadays like it's getting really bad over here and yeah the other day someone broke into someone's house and like if you look down at the bus stop that's right next to our apartment like someone smashed the glass in the bus stop like yeah like i i i, I really just don't feel safe like her every time i would see her she would mention the fact that like our area Korea now is no longer safe and how it's really going to shit and I remember literally like a couple days ago she was like yeah I slept with my baseball bat next to me and I was like why and she was like I don't know like it's just been like it's my guts just been telling me to sleep with like a baseball bat next to me because like it's just like I don't know I feel like something's gonna happen and I was like god damn like that's so fucking scary and also why would you tell me that but also i mean it's better to know than to like not know i don't know if she's exaggerating i don't know if she like genuinely means that i don't know if she's like a little delulu um but i feel like as much as i've felt better about you know my living situation and my safety at home i have felt recently i feel like recently i've been a little more on edge than i have been in recent months um because i i've been pretty good like i haven't been super paranoid i i in gen like in general i feel like i do just have like a fear and like i'm just like i'm always like on edge but i think more recently obviously with like my security system and just being able to like see like the cameras and like having everything set up like i've felt so much more safe my mom has the my mom has the security system like linked onto her phone so she can also see like the cameras and like who goes in and out of the house whatever i feel like i've been good but recently in the last like two weeks my neighbor has been scaring the fuck out of me because she keeps making unnecessary comments about the fact that she just is like fearful and like she thinks something bad's gonna happen and sometimes i feel like my neighbor is kind of hit or miss like she'll have like some of the things she says i'm like i agree with and there's other things that i'm like is she being a little the lulu a little bit just a little bit like let me take that with a grain of salt with like stuff about our apartment complex like she has lived there for 15 years plus now so i feel like when she talks about like you know when i ask her like oh like like the other the other day there was a fucking termite in my living room and i freaked the fuck out i was freaking the fuck out because i was like oh my god i have termites y'all i have fucking termites like someone called fucking bob duncan someone called bob duncan because my house is literally i'm gonna come back and my apartment is gonna be gone it's gonna be sky is what it's gonna be it's gonna be sky and dust because the termites are eating my wood up and i remember literally like as soon as i saw the fucking hole in the wall i ran over to her apartment and i was like i was like girl the termite we have termites we have termites what the fuck am i gonna do i just called kevin which is my landlord i just fucking called kevin and she was like she was like dude relax she's also like super hippie so that's literally how she talked she was like relax like the termites come every every spring they're here for like a week and then they leave like you're fine just literally put like a little piece of paper in the hole and trust they'll go away and i was like what and she's like i've been living here for 15 years the termites have been here longer than you have and i was like what and so I tried it. I was like, I mean, like, I, I'm going to be out of town anyways. And I feel like she, like, knows what she's talking about. Like, and an, an exterminator, like, checked it out. And he's like, yeah, we could, like, exterminate the place. You're just probably not going to be able to sleep in your room. You're just probably not going to be able to sleep in, like, 
the space. And I was like, that kind of sounds like a hassle. So let me try what my neighbor said. And I put a little fucking piece of paper in the hole. And sure enough, they were gone. This was like a couple months ago. And they, like, I have not had a problem since with the termites. Which is such a crazy statement. I haven't had a problem with the termites since then is a crazy statement. But I haven't. Like, they've just been chill. And, like, honestly, I gotta give credit where it's due. Like, those hoes were there before me. Like, I can't, you know? Like, they've been there. Um, yeah, she was like, yeah, like, every some, like every spring, like, I get, like, a little hole. And, yeah, they've been working on my back porch for the last 20 years. I mean, they're, they haven't really made that much of a dent, but they're getting there. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I feel like she knows what she's talking about. I mean, she's been living here. So, like, if there's nothing to work... Like, if there's... If I don't have to freak out about this, like, it's... Like, let me not sweat. Let me not sweat it. Let me just chill. So, yeah, whatever. So, she was right about that. And I was like, okay, I feel like I can, like... I can... I can trust what she has to say about, like, apartment stuff. I feel like she knows the land. She's been here for a while. Um, So, when she started to say that she felt very unsafe and that she was sleeping with a knife next to her... I was like, girl, don't even tell me that. Don't tell me I'm so fucking scared right now. I'm so fucking scared right now. My, my couple months of healing and peace and relaxation were good a- until they weren't. Because, like, now it's it's really gone down the drain a little bit. Because I don't fuck with any of that stuff. I do not fuck with any of that stuff. And it's also the way that my neighbor told me that once, I don't know if it was this apartment that she's currently living in or if it was another one here in LA and in the area, but she was telling me that someone broke into her apartment while she was babysitting and like held her at gunpoint. And she just like dropped that story, like that anecdote casually she's like oh yeah I remember that and I was like girl that's literally my biggest fear like how did you recover I would have never been able to recover ever that's so fucking terrifying (sighs) anyways I kind of need a pee hey guys it's that time of the podcast episode where I've drinking a lot I, I have drinking a lot of uh a lot of water and my bladder is full and I got a tinkle. So I might take a break for today's sponsors. I don't even know if I have any sponsors. Um <laughs> Okay, um let me go pee. Give my voice a little bit of a break. Been talking here for a little bit. I'm gonna go pee and I'll be right back. And we'll continue. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Let's get back into the story. So basically, my neighbor, I feel like I, I, for the most part, trust what she says when it comes to, like, whether or not I should freak out in, like, certain situations when I'm at home. Like, yeah, so whatever. So she's recently been talking a lot about just how she's been feeling unsafe, and I've been like, okay mental note taken because she is not one to like over exaggerate or like be like oh I'm I'm so scared like she is like a tough cookie so she's been saying that she's been like you know a little uncomfortable at night because she's been feeling a little unsafe and that's definitely sat with me I've repeated that a bunch of times but I feel like I just gotta like let you know that I need to like preface last night with all of that information because you have to get into my head space you have to like really try to understand how i felt in this moment (sighs) okay so last night i'm going to sleep i fucking have turned everything off i i didn't make myself dinner i didn't do anything i whatever i'm i'm ready to go to sleep i had a long day i did a bunch of stuff i'm comfortable and I'm exhausted and I get into bed and I'm drifting off into sleep and I'm literally at this point like 
REM sleeping. Like, I'm close to fucking REM sleeping. Like, I'm drifting off, but I'm not at REM sleep yet. I'm, like, in the beginning stages of REM sleep where I'm, like, still very asleep. Like, I'm just, like, not, like... In a, in a state of mind where I could, like, I, I was distraught. I was distraught. Okay, whatever. I'm asleep last night, and all of a sudden, the fucking alarm starts going off. Something triggered the fucking panic alarm in my house. And I am not talking about the fucking fire alarm. I'm not talking about, like, the smoke detector, because... They sound very different and are very different, like sound very different from the fucking like if someone breaks into your house alarm. The smoke detector alarm usually is like slow, chill. It's like whoop, whoop. It's fucking annoying as fuck, but it's not like panic mode. I'm fucking sleeping and I wake up to the alarm going off and it literally being like one of those alarms that you hear in the fucking purge movies that are so fucking mortifying and scary mind you this is the first time I ever fucking heard this alarm like it was the first time that I like experienced the sound of like this alarm in my house like I have never done like a little like oh let me test what the alarm sounds like like oh I wonder what it sounds like I've never done that like this is the first time I'm hearing this type of alarm and my smoke detector has gone off before in my house. It has gone off. It's been faulty. It's been, like, inaccurate. And it has gone off before. But it sounds very different than the panic alarm. It, like I said, slower. This one was literally, like... So fucking scary. I'll try to insert the noise. So I wake up, it's fucking three in the morning and I am half asleep. Like I don't really know what's going on, but I wake up and I'm like, for a split second, I'm like, what is that? And then I was like, oh my fucking God, it's my alarm. Like it's my alarm. Like the house like has been triggered. And the way that my soul left my fucking body when I woke up at two in the morning to my, someone has broken into your house alarm going off. I literally was fucking like, oh my god, I'm, it's happening, it's happening, I've always felt like I've had, like, an idea of, like, if someone were to break into my house, what will I do, like, I've always, like, kind of, like, thought of those scenarios, because I feel like I have to, like, I'm, like, if, like, I need to be prepared if someone breaks into my house, and I've always thought of these scenarios, because I feel like I just do that, and I know that, like, a lot of people just do that, like, I remember when I was little, every time I'd go into a building, I would always, like, find my exits, just in case, so I, like, knew, how to like escape if someone were to like come in and like bomb the school like or like I live in America hey y'all hey um so whatever so I I feel like I've always been like I've always kind of like thought like immediately I feel like when I walk into a room for the most part I'll, I'll almost do this instantly I'll kind of like figure out where my exits are like I'm like okay I know how like I would like leave whatever the situation so I've always kind of like been like that and I've always thought of like what I would do if you know the extreme happened and I had like an idea of what I would do if someone were to break into my house like naturally like I I, I knew what I would do if someone were to break into my house but the way that when I woke up I was like the it's fucking happening. My heart literally dropped, bro. Like, it's it wasn't an idea anymore. It was like, it's happening right now. Someone broke into your house. That that uh, that escape plan that you had, like, thought of, or just in case, it's happening. You have to get out of the house now. I was so fucking scared because I literally, like, have never heard this alarm before. And I, and I learned... I literally... So instantly when I wake up, I, like, literally I wake up and I'm like, fuck, it's happening. I am half naked, mind you. I am half naked. I'm in underwear and literally a bra because I fucking go to sleep like that. I was asleep and I was in my bed and I was safe and I was safe. And so I wake up and I'm fucking like distraught. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And instantly I'm like, okay, I need to get out of here. Like my plan, I have to do it. So I, I go out through like my, I'm not going to tell you my escape plan actually because I realize this is going on the internet and whatever I get on the roof of my my apartment I literally get out of my room onto the roof of my apartment and I'm freaking the fuck out the alarm is going off like crazy and I'm like dude what the fuck do I do so I call my mom 
obviously it's fucking three in the morning. It, 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 it's like two thirty, three in the morning in LA. So for my mom, that's like four in the morning, like her time. Like it's like three thirty, four in the morning. And like the first thing I thought of doing, I was like, dude, someone's in my fucking house right now. I'm freaking the fuck out. I need to call my mom because I, I don't know what to do right now. Like I, I, I don't know if like, like I, this isn't my smoke alarm. I know that for sure. I don't know if someone's in my house. I don't know if like something is going on. I'm just fucking scared and I need guidance. Like I can't think the first thing I thought of was like, let me call my mom, which by the way, I'm like, what is my mom going to do? What is my mom going to do? I should have just like dialed 911 immediately, but I was like, you know what? If I'm a die, let me at least talk to my mom. You know what I'm saying? If someone's in my house, like, let me just call my mom and I call her. And I was like, mom, mom, I think someone's in my house. Like, I'm literally scared shitless. My, like, my voice was, like, panic. My mom got so scared on the phone just hearing me. I was like, mom, like, I think someone's in my house. My mom got, could hear, I think my mom could hear the alarm in the background. And so, um, instead of, like, hearing what I was saying, she just heard the alarm. And since she was literally half asleep, she was like, oh, the alarm's going off, like, and the first thing that she said because she was half asleep she was like okay let me call let me call them and i think she thought that i was asking her to like call the security company because the smoke detector went off again it's gone off a couple of times and i was like no mom like like this isn't this isn't the smoke detector and she was like hold on hold on and she puts me on hold my mother literally like it's the way my mom literally put me on fucking hold like i'm like dying and i'm on like elevator music hold with my mom she's like one second and it's like i'm like what is she doing i was like dude like like it was all happening so fast i was like dude if someone's in my house right now like they're gonna come up into my room like at any second like i i literally this was the way that my brain was like thinking i was like oh fuck my mom's putting me on hold so i'm literally freaking out i'm like mom mom what like i'm like how dare she put me on hold i'm literally about to fucking die and so i i hang up on her because she put me on hold call her again and then she's like she merges the call with the security company and i was like mom and so literally we're on a merged call with like the security company and i'm like mom like like no this isn't about the fire alarm she's like what are you talking about i was like i think someone's in the house and she was like call 911 now call 911 now i was like oh fuck bro like this is so bad what do you mean call 911 like my mom saying call 911 i was like it's that serious bro like i gotta call 911 like what do you mean i genuinely am not the type to like make a commotion i am not the type to like oh my god oh oh my god i'm so scared like i'm not the type to be like oh my god i'm so fucking scared right now like i'm really not the type to make a commotion out of things like i'm not it's never that serious but in this moment i was like bro fuck and i'm literally like it's the way that i started checking my cameras to see like what was going on and my cameras are offline like someone disconnected my cameras and I was like, what do you mean my cameras are offline? And I'm like, mom, like I'm on the phone with my mom. And I'm like, mom, like the cameras are offline. Like, do you have, do you have like them pulled up on your phone? And she's like, it's asking me for like a, like a pin, like a birthday pin. And I was like, try this, like try this. And she's like, no, that's not the pin. I was like, I only have one pin. Like I only know like one, like I only have like one or two combination of like passcodes and like that was the one for a fact. So the fact that my mom's like I can't get in, my cameras are down and the fucking like panic alarm is going off. I was like, "Oh, like I'm literally so fucked." So at this point like my mom is really not helping me at all and I was like, "Dude, like I'm so frustrated right now. Like she's not doing anything and she put me on hold. My mother put me on hold." So I hang up on her and I call 911 and this is like one of the first times that I've literally like spoken to 911. Like, for, this was just like it was so like scary for no fucking reason. Cause I'm on 911. Like I'm I called 911. They they answer obviously and they're like what like hey what's going on like what's the situation whatever I don't know I don't even remember what he said. He said 911. That's what he said. He said 911. I was like hey um I think someone's in my house and you could hear the alarm in the background as I'm speaking <laughs> and the office the fucking dispatch guy is like okay what's your name and he starts asking me like all of these like basic ass questions and i know i realize that like dispatch people have to find out this information but it's that it's the way that like when you're in a state of panic and you're like dude i'm about to die you're gonna ask me like oh what's your name and when were you born bro like what's your zodiac sign i was like what the fuck bro it was literally like i was like trying so hard to be patient and just like chill and i was for the most part i wasn't like crying or screaming over the phone which was good but i was like dude like 
what do I do? Like, I'm on the fucking roof right now, half naked. And also, it's the way that my neighbors are fake as fuck, because why was the alarm literally going off like crazy? And no one got out of their apartments. Like, I realize it's three in the morning. Like, are y'all really REM sleeping, or are y'all ignoring the crime scene? Are y'all ignoring me, like, seconds from death? Like, are y'all just, like... Anyways, whatever, so, I'm on the phone with 911, um, the guy's, like, asking me all these questions, and then he's literally, like, (laughs) it's the way he was, like, um, okay, what do you have on, like, where are you? I was, like, wait, are we doing some freaky phone call right now? (laughs) (laughs) Sir, what do you have on? (laughs) I'm on the phone with the fucking dispatch guy. And I was already literally, like, scared shitless because, like, I think someone's in my house. But it's the way that when you're on the phone with 911 and they're asking you all the questions that, like, you see in the movies where they're like, what's your full name? And is, what, give me a phone number. What's your address? What, give me a description. Are you hurt? Ma'am, are you hurt anywhere? Are you, uh, like, that is so fucking frightening. But I'm on the phone with him, and as soon as he starts asking me all these questions, I was like, damn, like, this is real, bro. Like, they're, like, this is a whole thing right now. Like, and in my head, I was like, dude, like, I I genuinely can't tell if the alarm just went off randomly or if, like, something is happening. Because it's so fucking loud, and so much was going on. There's, like, cars driving past. Like, I live in L.A., so there's people out and about at all times okay hold on let me let me stop chewing on the nerds these are really fucking good though Mm. 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 (coughs) okay not that good whatever so i was like okay either someone's in my house or that just that just like went off randomly and i'm not gonna be the dumb bitch in the movies who like walks downstairs and like investigates the situation bitch i'm not trying to die I'm not trying to die. I'm I'm getting out of there and I'm literally evacuating. Y'all can take whatever you want. Actually, I'm not going to say that. Please don't rob me, y'all. Like that would really suck. But anyways, I was like, dude, like if like y'all like y'all take whatever you want. Like I don't even have anything that like valuable, but like take whatever you want. Just don't kill me. Like I I'm out of here. I got plans. Like I can't I can't go out this way. So I was I was chill. It's the way that I was literally chill with what, like, I wasn't chill, but I was chill. I was as chill as I could be in that situation. I was like, okay, there's only two things that could be happening right now. And I was like, okay, let me call the people who who know what to do in these situations and figure out what my next step is. Because right now I'm naked on the roof. So let me, let me, my mom's like, call nine. I called my mom. She says, call 911. I call 911. And I'm on the phone with them and I'm like, hey girl, like there is either someone in my house or the alarm is going off and I want to make sure that I'm as safe as I can be. What the fuck do I do? And this man literally took my level, my state of panic to the next level because there, there was nothing consoling or reassuring or like, like, I feel like these people are meant to like calm you down, right? Like obviously try to help you, but also like calm you down in like these situations of panic. No, they just make the panic 10 times worse. I'm like, Y'all need, like, someone, like, y'all need some, like, someone at better help on, like, at the dispatch or something, like, y'all need, like, a therapy cat or something because you guys are making these situations ten times more stressful. It went from me being like, hey, um, I think there might be someone in my house, to him being like, you are priority call, the, there are four dispatch units on their way to you right now. I was sleeping, it is three in the morning, I am in a bra and underwear on the fucking roof right now, scared shitless because you are making it fucking worse. Like, I, I feel, I feel like if I was a dispatch girl, I'd be like, okay, girl, breathe with me. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Tell me the situation. Calm, relax, chill, because I can't hear you. Breathe so I can help you. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, that's good. Good to know. Are you okay? Okay, good. Anyone? Is everyone else okay? Okay, cool. You hurt? No? That's good. All right, we're sending someone over right now. Just stay where you are. I'll stay on the phone. Like, I, that's what I would do personally. But this man, I mean, I know he was really trying his best, but like, oh, I was like, Dude, I gotta, I gotta like call my mom right now and be like, love you. 
I'm out. <laughs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, so, at, like, around 3.30 in the morning yesterday, like, four cop cars pulled up in front of my place, um, an ambulance, a fire truck, all of the girls were at my house, or at my apartment, um, everyone pulled up, I was like, oh my god, y'all, this is so embarrassing, y'all are being so extra right now, like, you guys are being so extra right now, because it was so quiet, like, yeah, there was, like, a few cars, but, like, for the most part, it was quiet, it's quiet in the middle of the night, and you could literally, like, on the roof, you could literally just hear, like, the siren from, like, miles away, like, it was just echoing, like, like the police cars like driving over to me and I'm just sitting there like that's hella embarrassing y'all like not me causing a scene not me not me causing a commotion I'm not gonna lie the cops like pulled up pretty like everyone pulled up pretty quickly like honestly pretty instantly which is great for me I'm like thanks but also is that the case for everyone because I'm like could you imagine, like, it's it's the way that a fire truck, an ambulance, four, like, cop cars pull up in front of my house and it's literally just me. Like, it's just me, a girl, with a false alarm going off and they were, like, tending to that situation. I just hope that that's the case for, like, all calls they get because I know that there's, like, actual serious stuff happening in the world more serious than my alarm going off but anyways um yeah so the there was no one in my house spoiler alert I'm still live recording this podcast right now hey spoiler alert um no one was in my house but the alarm was triggered and it was it's the way that when the cops showed up it was a literal kickback like it's the way that everyone was party at my house byob y'all Everyone was at the crib, the firefighters, the fucking cops. It was like two different units of cop cars came. Like you you I could tell because there was two different like commanders and like two different people in charge and they were both talking about they were both talking to me about the same situation. They're like, "Here, so this is what I think." And the other guy was like, "Oh yeah, so everything's good." And I was like, "I I I got two two different units on this case right now." Um which honestly I'm 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 very grateful because I did feel so much safer once they got there but um they were like yeah so we we checked the entire apartment bro like this is I'm it's 4 in the morning and I'm like half naked like literally like this I have a blanket wrapped around me and like the cops are literally like walking through my apartment with like their gun and their flashlight and I'm like Y'all, if there's no one in this house right now, this is so extra. There better be someone in this house right now at this point. Because, like, we are causing a commotion. Um, but, yeah, like, ten police officers are walking through my apartment with their gun and their, like, light. Ten of them. I'm like, the apartment is not that big. Why are all of you in there? I was like, y'all, not all of you have to be there. It, it, it felt very much like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, so I'm going to just follow them. And so, like, everyone else was just following, like, the one guy that was checking out the situation. Because the apartment's not that big. Like, I feel like 15 people did not need to be in my apartment. But I was like, let me just let them do their thing. I'm not even going to say anything. Let me just chill. I'm going I'm to be over here. And y'all can do what you need to do. So, yeah, I think it, it was a false alarm. But what they were saying was that the main, like, the the alarm for the back door. Because I have, I have a front door and a back door in my apartment. It's kind of like a townhouse. And um, the back door alarm was triggered and it was like he was like does this happen often and I'm like no these alarms are like the alarms that are on the doors um are only triggered when you open and close the door when the house is armed like it that's the only way that it could be triggered like you can't touch it and it triggers it you can't like oh the battery went off and it triggers it like those are meant for if you open and close the door it goes off or like open and close a window like it only like it has like it's two separate magnets and the only way it can like be triggered is if the magnets are like pulled apart so um 
so he was like does this happen often and i was like no this has never happened at all in the entire like couple of months that i've had this alarm system i i've like never heard like the panic alarm um go off before so i was like okay like something was opened um and he was like yeah like we just we checked out the alarm and i think it was just like uh, like i don't know what triggered it but it got triggered the system i have in my house is connected to like 911 somehow i don't know how but when the alarm goes off for a certain amount of time it automatically calls the police so that's why so many cop cars showed up at my apartment because not only was i on 911 like i was on the phone with 911 but my alarm had also called 911 and like the fire department and so like that's why literally everyone was outside of my apartment and they were like yeah we don't know what triggered it but they were they were like we're going to um reach out to the security company because this can't be happening they can't call up LAPD and fire department PD and like be doing this you know and i was like yeah i'm so sorry about that like i it that's never happened before um and usually when it's like a false alarm like i always know right away and i turn off the system um but yeah i was just like i was genuinely so like i was genuinely so afraid because this has never happened before and i was also half asleep and he's like yeah we can tell and he was like okay well we're gonna get out of your hair and i was like okay well thanks so much guys really sorry about all the commotion and that was the story of how i thought my home got broken into the time i on disney channel it felt very real thank god nothing bad happened and like i'm very much okay but it felt like it felt like like straight up i was like with the way that like this panned out like there might as well fucking be a person in the house because everything was like going on the only thing missing from last night was the actual person in the house because like that was so fucking terrifying everything that the leading up to it just for there to be no one in my home um was mortifying and terrifying i was thinking about it and i was like dude could you imagine like the dispatch guy was like hearing an alarm in the background and then i'm like i think there's someone in my house and he's like where are you and i'm like on the roof in a bra and underwear this man was like oh my god this is a this is a serious situation like this is like we we need all units on deck so yeah so anyways that was my night last night um i went to sleep at like 4 no not 4 i went to sleep at like 5 in the morning last night so dude like guys the other day i was taking a fucking shower y'all i was taking a fucking shower and i got out of the shower and i went into like the little like closet room that I have because I'm a girl and I go into the closet room to change and my windows are open because the like the sun had just set so I hadn't like closed my blinds and I just got out of the shower and it's the way that there was a man like I'm in the second story of my apartment and there's a man on the street on the floor looking up staring at me fucking naked like he could see me naked because it was like across the street there was like a clear view of that room and he's staring at me and I'm like I'm obviously like like digging around trying to find like what I'm gonna wear and like I'm doing my like post shower routine where I'm like fucking putting on like deodorant and like putting on perfume brushing my hair this man is just staring at me and I look out the window and I'm like there's no way that there's a fucking man staring at me right now. There's no way that there's a peeping Tom across the fucking street staring at me right now. Like, obviously, like, I, I've heard, like, my mom has always been like, close the blinds, make sure, like, people can see you. But I was like, damn, like, that shit's real as fuck. Like, there's a fucking man staring at me right now, half naked. I'm like, what you, what are you trying to look at, bro? And I literally was like looking at him. And I remember I got close to the window and the guy sees me and hides behind the tree because he was right next to a tree. He was like walking his dog he sees me looking at him and he hides behind a tree and then I like pretend to turn my head and I could still see him from like my peripheral and man's literally pops out again to see me and at that point I was like okay like first of all you're a fucking freak like you're a freak bitch like you get no pussy okay (laughs) hold on (laughs) like I was like first of all you're a freak bitch so I was kind of like fucking with him like I obviously was like I wasn't putting on a show or anything but I was like if he sees me naked right now it's really not the end of the world like fuck you um but 
but yeah that's why i stayed a little bit longer because i was like are my eyes deceiving me there's no way that like this man's actually staring at me naked right now like everything my mom has said is true and i confirm it every single day um so yeah so that was my story time of the time that i thought someone broke into my house but no one actually broke into my house and i caused a whole commotion that was entirely not even my fault at all because i was literally being so chill i was being so chill i didn't cause that commotion girl anyways um yeah so that was my night last night um if y'all still want that book review though let me know because i'm so down but yeah on that note that was that was the end of this podcast i'm okay everything's chill um, I mean, like, fucking obviously, I'm right here, but everything's good, I'm fine, um, just a funny story, I have, I have to, like, when shit like this happens, I have to do the most, and I have to tell a story, I have to, that's what it's meant for, that's literally what it's meant for, what else is that meant for, what else is that situation meant for, okay, um, yeah, that was the end of this podcast episode, I love you guys so much, thanks for tuning in this week, um, Make sure to check out Bit My Tongue on Instagram, on YouTube, and make sure to check it out anywhere you listen to podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Make sure to rate the show. Um, I love to hear your guys' feedback. Share and rate the show. Leave me some feedback or comment any topics that you guys want to hear me talk about and discuss and share with you guys. Um, yeah. Okay, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Okay, toodles! Bye!